This video will serve to provide you with some additional information on the introduction and background of containment and surveillance that you may have previously received in the course. The principal mechanism of International Atomic Energy Agency safeguards is nuclear material accounting. However, in recent years, containment and surveillance has gained importance due mainly to technology developments and cost savings. It is the purpose of containment and surveillance to provide additional information on the movements of nuclear material or on the integrity of equipment and verified data. In 1965, when Information Circular 66 was released, containment and surveillance was not a mechanism originally included. However, when the IAEA began development of the next round of safeguards requirements, the IAEA chose to focus on containment surveillance as a complement to nuclear material accounting. So in IMSERC 153, containment surveillance can be seen as a complement to nuclear material accounting. So what is containment? Containment are measures that take advantage of existing structural features to establish the physical integrity of an area or an item by preventing the undetected access to or movement of nuclear material or interference with equipment or data. This equipment or data may be IAEA instruments, devices such as radiation detectors, working papers, or supplies that may be stored in a storage cabinet. The integrity of the containment itself is usually assured by seals or surveillance measures and by periodic examination of the containment during inspector visits. What is surveillance? Surveillance refers to both the human or inspector and instrumental observation aimed at indicating the movement of nuclear material or interference with containment or IAEA equipment. Surveillance serves to assure the integrity of containment. Surveillance may also be used for observing various operations within a facility or obtaining relevant operational data about the facility. IAEA inspectors may carry out surveillance assignments continuously or periodically at strategic points within the facility. These points can typically be thought of as any point of access to the facility. More detail will be provided later in the course on what these strategic points are. To implement containment and surveillance, the IAEA uses a variety of containment and surveillance mechanisms. More of these mechanisms are being developed every day. The IAEA mostly uses a set of simple, effective, and commercially available technology. This technology includes tamper-indicating devices, commonly referred to as TIDs or seals. These can be both physical seals and electronic seals, optical surveillance in the form of film motion cameras and digital camera equipment, motion detectors, underwater camera systems, automated barcode readers, and radiation detection instruments. It is important to note the detection of an anomaly relating to any of these containment and surveillance measures does not necessarily indicate itself that material has been removed. It is the purpose of nuclear material accounting to resolve such a deficiency.